Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, on today's video is going to be my last video of 2020. I just want to wish you all a happy new year. So I'm going to be making a black gardenia candle. So if you want to see how I make this beautiful candle, keep on watching. Yes! Welcome back to my channel. Yes. Okay, darling. So today is gonna be my last video of the year. Today is New Year's Eve, 2020, and I cannot wait to get um, to say goodbye to this year. So anyway, so I just want to show you my new setup. I just put some lights in here. Let me show you. Right over here and in the other side also. And so I took the the ring light and I have it outside. So you can see now my all my uh, some of my different scents, fragrance oils, and then I put the ring light. I'll put it outside. So it's shining this way so uh yeah so i think it's gonna be better i just want to change uh the video setup you know so you guys can get a, a different perspective of what i'm doing inside here so i decided to put some of these uh these boards in here so i can write uh what i'm doing today and guys today i have a very special video guys i'm gonna make the first ever black gardenia candle yeah I decided to make it all black, okay? So I'm gonna start gathering all the uh, ingredients and I'll be right back, yes! So the inspiration um, for the Black Gardenia candle is my new vessel in here. It's beautiful, so bougie and so luxurious. And I was thinking, you know what? Why don't I make a Gardenia candle uh, using um, black wax? So I said, why not? So I'm gonna, t uh, I'm gonna do my favorite uh, Gardenia formulation, which is uh, a trademark secret that I have. And I'm gonna put also a wooden wig, okay? So I have all my this is what I did, guys. This is what I love this closet. So I, I have in here one of these uh, writing boards that I have. So I have the different uh, configurations that I need. I need the, um, the amount of wax, the kind of wick that I'm gonna use, and the different temperatures, you know? So uh, the amount of uh, fragrance oil that I need. So that way I don't have to keep going back and forth on my notes. You know, it's this is great. And then I have in here uh, what I need for my additives, for my, uh, for my wax, which I already have added to the uh, melting pot. Mel uh, and then I have in here this other wax, which is blank, just to take some notes in case I need so something else that I need to remember. And yeah, so let me just take my secret ingredients and I'll be right back. Yes! Okay, so I have in here all the colors that I that I got. Plus, I have some uh, dye chips also. Let me get them for you. In the meantime, I'm gonna put all these oils away that I have in here because it's taking a lot of real estate and I'll bring it back. Okay guys, so I have in here my colors. I have my liquid colors and I have in here my dye chips, okay? So now I'm gonna start uh, picking uh, which colors I'm gonna be using. Okay, this I have in here from Candle Science, a four ounce li uh, bottle of uh, black liquid dye. So it says in here three drops per pound or 0.016%. Uh, and it indicates in here the amount of rich that if you wanna, uh, Accomplish this gray, it tells you here. If you want to accomplish this completely uh, black, then you have to double it down, okay? I have in here for different companies burgundy, I have orchid and burnt orange. I have in here also lavender dye chips, which is like a purple, and then this one is dark brown, red dye chips. And let's see, this one is hunter green dye chips. And this one is black black dye chips. So I may just use this uh, this two, the black because I want a pure, intense black for my candle. Yes, this is gonna be my year, my New Year's candle, candle. So I'm, I'm gonna get a new candle making worksheet. So guys, I just wanna show you this the, uh, this sheet. I just wanna tell you that I'm not taking credit for this. And uh, this lovely lady, I don't know her name. She uh, put this on the one of the Facebook groups. Uh, and so I've been using this uh, since since August. So uh, <clears throat> so I just copied the PDF from uh, from the group and I have it and I have it in, uh, saved in my, in my folder. Okay, so today it's gonna be today is the thirty first. I'm gonna call it New Year's Eve Black Gardenia. And you know, guys, that this is my favorite my favorite flowers. It's uh, the gardenia. I know it's very uh, some people like it, some people don't. So okay, so. Because I have the information in here, it's great for me because I don't have to measure or, or anything else for my for my vessel. So okay, so the black glass, the black type is gonna be PB600, and the amount because I already know because I have it in here 
is gonna be 12.1 ounces of wax. The fragrance is gonna be blah 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 because it's my secret. I'm not gonna tell you. Okay, and then I need four. Let me see how much. 1.4 ounces for 10%. Okay, now I have on my on my melting pot my wax melter. I already have bibar and say uh, stearic acid in the pot. So yeah. So what I did is the measurements for that is gonna be for the stearic acid is three tablespoons per one pound of wax. So for bibar is one teaspoon per pound of wax. So I have that right in here in front of me so I don't forget. And the wick is gonna be the wooden wick. And I have it in here also, it's gonna be the crackling wick, 0 0.02. And the size is gonna be 0.625. Why? So it's great because I've tested that so many times and I know that's the perfect combination for me. Now, what, what I'm gonna be testing also is gonna be how will the, uh, how will the, the, the color addition will uh, affect uh, the burning time and the burning of, of the wooden wick. So, We'll see about that, guys. Okay, so let's see. Container size is glass, black glass. MCR official, vessel. The size, 3.75 diameter. Heat wax to 200. I dye, I'm glad the dye very high, 190. And added fragrance oil at 185. And I'm gonna pour one, from 170 to 160. Okay. Now the question is how much dye I'm gonna be adding. Uh, that's a matter of uh, experimentation. So like I was saying, saying to you guys, so I'm planning to put out four candles, maybe up to six, I don't know yet, but basically I really wanna put out four, four only because I only have like a, a hundred, a hundred uh, vessels. I have a hundred of these and they were very expensive, so I cannot uh, afford to buy more until I see how well they sell. So that's why I only have a hundred. So I was thinking, you know, maybe I'll do uh, four candles and I'll make uh, 25 candles of each. Uh, fragrance. Okay, so what I'm planning to do is, if I like the way, if I like, I'm gonna put this on my on my groups, and I wanna also you guys uh, your opinion. Can you tell me whether or not uh, this looks high end or does it look uh, strange? I know I've never seen black candles, really. Uh, so I just want to be different. Okay, so let's see. So let's see. Do I have a black in here? Any black chips in here? So like I was telling you, so I'm, I'm planning to use like a very dark uh, color on on each scent, depending on the on the theme. Okay, so I I'm gonna use the liquid dye from uh, Candle Science, and I'm also gonna add one chip of this um, California Candle Supply. I'm gonna link it below. I'm gonna see how this works. So yeah, so it says in here to add six drops or 0.32%. I'm gonna be adding um, 24 drops, but that's how much I added on the other on the other video. So and let's see how that works, okay? So let me just put this aside. I'm gonna take out the two colors that I'm gonna be using. And okay, so let me just put this back, put it below. And I'm gonna use this, this person in here to put the whole candle, okay? Now I'm gonna take the, the scale and I'm gonna measure the oil for my formulation. I'm gonna measure in here uh, the black dye. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna do a test. You know when you when you do fashion colors, uh, the way we test the the intensity of the color is that you take a paper towel and you mix the the hair dye. This is for fashion colors only. This is not for permanent color. This is just for color that you're gonna apply and just it fades out. So you take. Uh, you make the you mix the color and you paint it on the on the paper towel and then you see the intensity of the color. So that's what I'm gonna to, uh, to do also with this. I'm gonna test uh, the color by adding the color and then I'm gonna take a little bit of the wax and I'm gonna put it on, on the white paper towel and that's gonna show me how dark it is. But let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna add. I'm gonna prepare the color now. Let me show you. So I'm gonna add. It's testing here to add six drops or 32 percent. Let me see how if I can figure it out. Thirty-two percent of the of the total amount. Okay, so I try asking Siri. She freaked out. So I'm just gonna add it. You know, I remember adding like twenty-four drops of this color. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add 24, 24 drops. But I'm gonna measure it, and I'm gonna go by. Okay. So let's start adding drops. I'm gonna shake this first. This is the black from Candle Science. 
So I added 20 drops. I don't think it's gonna be enough. I'm gonna add 20 more for 40. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to uh, point 0.1 and see. Okay, so I have 60 drops so far, and I have not given me the point 0.1. So I'm gonna go 60. Okay, so I have 80 drops. Okay, guys, I'm gonna leave it 80 drops, and I'm gonna have one sheep of dye sheep. So let me just measure this and this. The measure is very small. So 80 drops. Let me just put it in here before I forget. 80 drops of color. Okay, so let's see how that works out. Okay, now for the fragrance oil. Okay, so let's see. So far, let me just put it in here. 80 drops, undersigned, black, liquid dye, plus one chip, black from California candle supply. So guys, let me just show you. So this is what I'm doing. If, uh, I don't want to keep anything a secret. So I'm using Gardenia Tuberose from Candle Signs and I'm using uh, Gardenia from Candles and Supplies. So these are my two fragrance oils. This is what I call my, uh, my secret formulation, but it's no secret. It's I want to share with all of you, okay? I believe everybody should share the, the knowledge, you know, and don't keep anything a secret. So here they are, yes! Okay, so this is my fragrance oil. Look how much it is, 1.4 ounces. I put the wax, it's warming up. So let me put this away because I'm not gonna need it anymore. Okay, and let me just put this outside, the color. So this is the vessel that I'm gonna be using. So let me just keep it in here. Okay, so that, what do I need now? Okay, I need to get the vessel now. And I'm gonna clean it with alcohol to make sure there's nothing, no, no residue or anything. Like I told you, I'll always clean my vessels before I use them. Yes. Inside and out. I'm loving this setup. It feels like more, uh, and even the sound is gonna be better because I have a small, uh, there's no echo or anything. So I'm gonna change the uh, configuration once we go outside and we start cooking. And guys, when you get these vessels, this is from 1617can.com. Uh, Beautiful. Okay, so let's get the wig, the wooden wig, guys. Okay, so this is the one I'm gonna be using, guys. And believe me guys, I did major testing on in all these weeks. And this is the one that really works the best because you need something to really give you enough heat to melt at the full uh, diameter of the, of the vessel. And yeah. Now remember guys, the most important thing you could do when you're making a candles is to center the wick. If you don't center the wick properly guys, uh, the candle is going to fail completely. So make sure that, that you get that right every single time because then you're not going to get a, a perfect uh, melt pool, you know? And you could put in danger of running into a fire because if you have more heat in one side of the vessel than the other one, it's not going to be good. You have to melt everything evenly, you know? Perfect! Ta-da! Okay. So now, and guys, you have to make sure that you press really hard to make sure you have full contact. And these are my favorite ones, the ones with the, with the yellow background. Okay. So I'm gonna put out also a, a label. Today's date, 1231, Black Cardinia. Okay. So putting in all the details. Okay, so let me go check out the uh, the wax and see how warm it is. So having here my scale, I have here my color dye, I'm having here my fragrance oil. Let me get the vessel. Ta-da! Leave it in here. Okay, good. Nice and hot. Okay, so let's see the temperature in here. And I'm also gonna get, I'm gonna take the, the color in case I need more drops. I have them in here, guys. So, let's see. Okay, it's 191. I'm gonna wait until it goes to 200 because I wanna make sure that I melt uh, the liquid dye. I'm gonna go about 200 because I need to, this is a lot of fragrance oil, guys. So, you know, also that you have to take that into consideration. But before I do that, I'm gonna be, uh, Testing the color first, 196. And remember guys, you get a better color, uh, a richer color 
uh, using uh, the mix that I'm using, PB600, if you use 100% soy wax, you're never gonna get completely black unless you use a whole bottle and that's, you know, it's, it's not good because that's gonna compete with the Vergance oil. The 197, I'm gonna keep going. So I need 12.1 ounces of wax. Okay, it's 205, time to rock and roll. Okay, 12.1 ounces. Let me just tear this. Okay, zero, zero. 12.1. Perfect, 12.1. I'm gonna have the color. 197, you see how fast it, uh, how fast it goes down? So I have to make sure that this is sold really well. Okay, let me just take a piece of um, and let's see how this, this black is going. I need to wait until it dries. Okay, I have in here some, some dye. I'm just gonna put the fragrance oil inside and I'm gonna mix it with the dye. Okay? I think it's good enough. I don't want to add too much dye. I think it's perfect. Let me see the temperature now. 180, perfect. I'm just gonna add a couple of more drops. Okay, I add 10 more drops. So in total, I added 90 drops and one, one color chip. I mix it really well. 174, I'm gonna still mixing. I'm gonna pour 160, a 170. You see why you have to make the, uh, the wax 200 or more? Because you have to add all this. You know, I'm hoping that adding the, the stearic acid and the Vibar will help, 176, will help in, uh, in the absorption of this, of the color and the fragrance. You see it makes a huge difference when you make a big candle compared to the smaller candles. In here you have a chance to, to really like uh, tweak it, tweak the formula. Okay, I think it's fine. I think I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna add any more, any more color. Remember these, these are uh, very big candles. You have to make sure that everything gets really well incorporated, especially that black dye sheet that I put in there. Spring week. Okay, I'm gonna pour this now. Very carefully. It's beautiful. Oh my God, all the way, all the way up. Beautiful. Perfection. Guys, I have the feeling this is gonna be beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay guys, so let me clean up and I'll be right back. Yes! Okay guys, here I come. Happy New Year! Yes! Look at how beautiful this candle looks, guys. This is my black gardenia candle, which is gonna be a feature of my, my candle romance coming next year. And yeah, so I'm very happy with the way it looks. Let me show you. It looks very high-end. Just put this out of here. It looks very high-end because it looks like you know, it's part of the container, you see? With the black wax. So I'm gonna take a few pictures when once it's solidified to, so, to see how uh, rich the color is. And I'm gonna post it at the end of the video, guys. So I'm very happy with the results. And guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give it a like to my videos because that helps me grow my channel even more. And don't forget to share my content with people that you think may, may enjoy me. And also don't forget to check my other channel Healthy Living with Michael, which the links are in below. So don't forget to see that one from the beginning so you can see my whole transformation. And guys, I wanna wish you all a safe and happy uh, New Year's Eve. And be careful, don't drink and drive. And until next year, take care of yourself and each other and bye. Yes!